to simmer up. Oh, no, it's live. We're live. Hello. It's Phil and John's zone, number 49. Hello, everybody. I'm John. And I'm Phil. It's the Phil and John zone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, yeah. We are live. live. A little bit early because yeah. we're live. We are live. It is live. Okay, it's live. We are live, too. And it's uh, good to see anybody. And there's uh, a band warming up right next to us. And... Um, I can't share it today, so you guys got to share it for us. Hey, Machete, what's happening? See, now you can see who logs in. There's Scott Jarhead. Yeah, so never had, hey, hey, Scotty. Machete. So, hey, so Machete. We don't see everybody that comes in. But we yeah, when you yeah, come in. First time I'm actually seeing people log in. Um, we are out at Benton, Illinois, at a place called Camp Manitoba. Probably see us on the news next week. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Probably. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's... <laughs> Never, Never lot, mind. It's all good. It's all, it's, all, it's, all, it's, it's all good. There's a lot of people here, and it's a great thing. It, but there's so there's many There's a lot spaces. of families, and they're all kind of separated out. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, look at this guy walking by. Yeah. He's on. And, uh, Bishop uh, says he's enjoying him. It's beautiful. Um, Man, I forget um, that guy's name. You knew that guy's I don't name? I know. The guy you saw in Coconuts, or the Coconut Guy, or... Um, he's, he's one of our sponsors. There's a lot right? of dogs here. Um, We'll talk about that later. Um, yeah, we're live at a festival called Sugar Creek Family Jam. Family Jam, yeah. Family Jam. Um, great to be here. Great to see a lot of people up from my area to come up here. I think people just needed to get away. Um, very, uh, very cool. Very. Uh, there's a lot of activity, a lot of uh, vendors, a lot of artists, a lot of uh, activities. Uh, We're basically in sound check right now. You're yeah, in, you're in guys are check. shooting hoops over there. They get a great basketball court with glass backboards. I shot last year. I'm going to do it tomorrow morning. Get my activity up. Go play some basketball. Got joyful bubbles across the way there. Mr. Bubbles is here. He'll be on uh, for announcement. There's yeah. Mindy. Mindy Dean. Hi, Mindy. 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 Tom um, Dean from next door there. Yeah, yeah. from the Tommy's Abstract World. He's here this weekend. Yeah. It's an interesting attempt. What we're doing here is we're making an attempt to get back to normality in somewhat of a, of a fashion, in a safe way. I got a big bottle of sanitizer over there. It smells like whiskey, though. I got the cheap stuff. Well, I that, swear it smells like moonshine. Sanitizer? It's not bad. It's not just it's so, the alcohol is no. so strong that it doesn't smell like flowers, though. Like the one stuff I have, it smells like flowers. It's a little too flowery. So right, it was not too bad. You know, there's good sanit you know, the sanitizer you buy cheap stuff, it's you know, sticks to your hand, but you can get some good stuff. I got some good stuff. Yeah, it can't. works. It's sanitized, it works. I think. You know. I I, I uh, was eating a sandwich earlier and somebody came in and was gonna shake my hand, but then it, it, that whole thing oh, stopped. Man. It was like no, you know, we don't people, shake hands. You, when you, you know, people come by and they have um, you just put your mask on. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's, safety that's, first. We're in the back of our booth. Yeah. But right next to the stage we've got a great thing and there's like at least I don't know, a lot of people. A lot of vendors. There's a lot, thing, of vendors. a lot of art. There's a lot of vendors. I love the artists. trapeze thing that's in the. That is huge. And um, I've only been here once before, John. Have you ever been on the trapeze? Mm, uh, wrong. No. I'm not. Will you and do that and try to like have somebody catch your feet? Mm, no. It's like a bungee cord. I would not do that. But I'd fly in a plane and. Um, no dogs allowed. And I'm going to start going, no! Oh, there's dogs. Oh, this is a weak tripod, though. Yeah, don't. It's okay Patrick. if it happens, Patrick. But we should have set it up on top of the table. It's gonna be—it's all experimental tonight. Hey, around, around four o'clock, the music will actually start here. Hey, Jenny B, look there, Jenny Brasher checked in. Jenny, Jenny B. Hey, Jenny B. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, sweetie. She said she loves us, Phil. Yeah, cool. That's pretty cool. We can see that. We can see the comments tonight. Phil doesn't even have yeah, it. I can't see. Where I'm just see kind of looking at and looking. Um, yeah, we're just. Um, just be, there's Tommy Harmon over there. Up. There's Scooby. Look at, look at, I get a pass. This is Scooby's first. Look at John's pass. Hey, there's the bear. Let me see. Let me see. He says he's got a John Griffin pass. Look at that thing. They're messing with me. They're just messing with me. They put my name on pass. Everybody's. He keeps saying, I got here early, so I got my own. I love you, John. <laughs> well, we, I did get here early. I could have probably got here a few hours later, but we did pretty good for our ride. For there's ride Eason. Um, there's a guy with a bear That's hat the on. bear. That's the, the bear. The, the bear. The bear. The bear. Yeah. Go bears. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There's a dragon. There's a dragon. That's a purple dragon. It's a purple dragon over there. I think that's um, one of them fuzzies. Those people, they dress up in fuzzy costumes. That's their yeah, thing. That, that, that's their, yeah, that's their thing. Yeah. It's all good. No, I don't know exactly what, yeah. that, what that entails or what that comes down to. But, um, yeah, this is live from Benton, Illinois, folks. This is a this is a, definitely a, um, an experiment. Um, 
<laughs> we did it last year. We did another experiment. We'll do a show tomorrow, probably too. It, it might be a show tomorrow night too. There might be a late oh, night it's show. Gonna if, we, be if, if we get to where, if and we get to there's Omar. Still. Hello, we're live. Hello. There's Omar. Omar here, yeah. Not yet. Don't come in yet. Don't. Not yet, Omar. Hold on. Okay, give him a minute. <laughs> We still gotta do five records here in a minute. I don't even have the theme yeah, music for five be, records. Yell at him, Omar. All right, come on, Omar. Come on, Omar. Yeah, right, come on. What, I, I don't know what else. Hi. Yeah, come on and say hi. I just want to come say hi. Come on. What's up, everybody? Here on the John and Phil show. That's really me on the on the art print. That's really me in the canopy. There's John did that. John did that. Love to see you guys. Hey, they're gonna be at Blue Ox. Everybody, come out to Blue Ox and see John and Phil this year for the first time. I know. Promise. Yeah. No promises. It's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Love you, everybody. Come out to Sugar Creek. Day pass is on for sale tomorrow. It's Omar. He's like that end of the commercial where the guy talks really fast. I like that. That's, <laughs> it's quick to quick and to the point. Um, yeah. Um, I didn't even think about that, John. The pass. I'm actually on the pass with the picture. The, a beautiful poster. Beautiful artwork by John Griffin. And look at yeah, it's it's awesome, John. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it really. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you underestimate. Yeah. And well, you know what happens is I draw the picture and I, I have a really good time drawing the picture. Mm -hmm. And then I make the poster and I work on it and I get all the lettering done and I send it off and they change the bands. It all gets spun around three times before. And so I look at it so many times that by the time I have it printed on the table, I've seen it so many times it's kind of old. It's almost like a rerun to me. Okay. So I don't get as excited after I see it printed sometimes. I mean, sometimes I do. It just depends on the print. Okay. Do you look at your old stuff, like at the old albums that I do or, and stuff and go, wow, that looks pretty cool. Not in the last year or two. But I like, go like, what was he thinking? Yeah, but it, isn't it cool? I think it's very cool. I think right. it's very yeah. cool to go backwards and, and yeah. see progress along the way. And you, you see, you like to adopt certain characters and then like, and then you right, read them and you right, dish right. them and then you, and you. Well, always... sometimes I'm not doing it now. I'm doing these mushroom things with nothing on there. Do you work for? Do you, do you are you affiliated with Charles Schultz? Um, no, I am He's not. He's one of my heroes for sure. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I do a lot of um, Snoopy stuff. But I, I appreciate his artwork. And uh, this is the theme music for. Um, that's pretty. That's, that's, uh, he bought a painting. Our friend, uh, Mr. Loaded Baker, bought a painting. And then, it looks like it's of his dog. We're live, Tom. Oh. Hi, Tom. Oh, that's, that's our, that's our production us. assistant, Tom. What's up, Tom? Tom work. Yeah, he's got a storefront in Albany. Um, Albany Park. Baby. Albany Park. Happening. Yeah. Hey, there's Brooke. Hey, Brooke. Omar's behind Brooke us. Brooke Rosek's in there. Say hi to us. Who? Brooke. Hey, Frank, Brooke. Frank and Brooke from Hello, Frankfurt. Brett. Hello, Brooke. Um, hey, Frank. Uh, Miss Frankfurt. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's called. So we're gonna. That, that, that was our theme music for Five Records. Five Records. Ding, 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 ding. Da, 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 da. Right. We are Five Records. All right. Da, we da, didn't da. think about it. We usually have a little stash at home. And you can't bring your this records week. to the festival because they get hot in the sun. All right. So the sleeves that we picked out, I had about a hundred. So if you pick out a record and buy a record from me, you get to pick out a uh, a sleeve to pick it out. So these are random that customers could buy. So me and John picked out some random type. You want me to go first? Um, yes, did sir. you already show one of them? Um, no. Okay, Maybe I, I did. Maybe I did, but I don't know. I like this one because it's called the Check Wagon Gang. Check Wagon Gang. It's definitely like a gospel album, I'm guessing. It had been here 30 years since D.P. Carter's daughter, Dan Ann Rose, and his son Ernest set out from Lubbock, Texas for Dallas. And they made a record. I just like it because it says the Check Wagon Gang. And that's probably where people are going to be eating this weekend is the Check Wagon over here at the... It is fantastic food. I had it. Like, it's uh, good food. They got good food. The here is good. Okay. There's good food available. This one's a quick one. I'm going to go. I the almost picked that one. Okay. Uh, the five senses. There's really no theme. I like the cover. A little, little artwork. Um, I'm going to do that one quick. Okay, John, you're up. So, since the first time we're at a festival all year, I, I got this one. It's called Sing Along with Mitch. It's called Memories. I don't know if everything's backwards out there where you're seeing it, folks, but it's, it's the right way here. But Mitch Miller, he was the guy that sang the song after he told you what the song was going to sing. He would, he would, he would, he would sing, he would yeah, sing along with me. It's amazing. All the, I have all the lyrics. Right. And all the pages. All the I have 50 Mitch Miller albums, and they're all different with the song. You know, Mitch, that's a lot of, he, he was famous. I want to, uh, I'd like to. Bill uh, Bailey, won't you please come home? Um, what a voice on this young lady, uh, Loretta Lynn. Um, just look at her um, beautiful thing. Um, just a great cover. Oh, uh, John's got you picked so, up one of my so, favorite movies. <laughs> because we're on the road, I picked this one because it's um, oh. around the world in 80 days. And look, this is me and Phil. This We're not going to train. We're going to get a hot air balloon. <laughs> We're going to do a oh, festival circuit in a hot air balloon with a little U-Haul trailer. There used to be a train. <laughs> well, this fine. is the new summertime version of the train. See, someone listened to us. They're bringing a balloon over. 
We're out of here. No balloons. <laughs> no balloons. <laughs> no balloons. <laughs> that was last Mr. Bubbles was just right over there. That was over last there. year when we were here, the balloons thing. Oh my yeah. goodness. Okay. But around the world in eight days, not the Jackie Chan version, the original. And I think it's just cool because that's like, that's like Phil and me right there. Yeah. Yeah. Great movie, too. Uh, great cover. Uh, sing a song, everybody. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. <laughs> I don't know. It just looked cool. Remember, we're picking band covers here up. <laughs> Um, explain now. We don't know how long it's going to be till the band starts. Bongo Pablo Super Jam is going to be on in a few minutes. We'll give he you might be a, playing now. I don't probably know. give. That might be. The, I think it's sound check still. <laughs> um, so what we have here is the 50 greatest love songs. It was a two-sided record. 50 greatest love songs and the 50s golden hits to remember. I think you know where this is going with the heart. Oh yeah. See, we the, saved the, our ones for the ladies last. Uh, hey, Trixie Doodles. Uh, it's cocktail hour. That's your one for Laura. <laughs> oh, I got, I got another one here. Cocktail hour. It's Friday. We always have a cocktail Fridays. Hi, honey. Miss you guys. Oh, that one's nicer than mine. No, this one's important. Oh, I got. Yeah, go so, ahead. You're next. Um, this one's Neil Diamond. You don't bring me flowers. It's kind of my wife loves Neil Diamond, and she works at a flower shop. Amy, this one's for you. I love you and I miss you. It has such hits as Diamond Girls, the American popular song, and Memphis Flyer upon it. Duet with Barbara Streisand is actually the song is a duet with Barbara Streisand. So they get a good look at Neil because his eyes, they're so hypnotizing. <laughs> Neil Diamond loves you. <laughs> I hope. Okay. Um, <laughs> my last one there is Neil. <laughs> oh, we got a live right. feed. Oh, you're one. No. All right. You can look at mine. Look at the eyes. Look at John. Me and John feel so good. We're hey. right here. <laughs> Here. It's um, called when we're together. How appropriate. Hey, hey, hey uh, Trixie, uh, Doodles, Laura. When we're, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, it's just, we're listening to music. Yeah, we love music on a Friday, and that's what it's about. It's a beautiful thing out here. Five records with Phil and John, and uh, uh, I finally get to sit sit down after about four hours. You've been working all day. You know. um, it feels good. My back is toast. It took me a long time to set up today. It was a lot longer than usual. Hey, Scoob, you got freedom for a minute? Okay. I'm trying to get him acclimated because this is going to be his first musical performance ever. Uh, well, here comes. This is his first band, so we're going right. to see how he reacts. He, the shoot. drums were a little hard for a minute. But he's, you know he's what? Getting, he got over it. My, dog, get doggy my dog, earplugs? Scooby, is getting the, getting the... He's got his big brother. Uh, trial by doggy earplugs? <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna make I'm just uh, probably. But he would just scratch him right out. Yeah, we'll put him in the truck if it gets too loud. And he's this nice muffled. Just don't take it front row in a band. No, it's I'm a not nice muffled situation in there. Hey Tom, look at all the people booth. in your booth. You got hey, Patrick. You got to run the other booth. You don't got. Oh, you're not the boss, Phil. It's it's a call to Phil and John zone. That's just an, some, that was to be nice. You're the boss, but you, my name's first. I get to. Yeah. Oh man. I you know I. If you need a color change, come here. I've never seen people. I don't think there's any blondes, brunettes, or any. Everybody's got colored hair except you and me. <laughs> or gray, I'm gray. Gray, gray. Yeah, perhaps a little more gray, silver. Yeah. silver. It's very, quite crazy. And Mr. Bubbles, who's bald. It's, it's going to be flamethrowers tonight. No, not flamethrowers. Fire, fire twinners, and spinners. There's no flamethrowers. Ex flamethrowers. There's no fire. There's fire spinners, and there's going to be jugglers, and there's a lacrosse team tonight. There's a lacrosse team. Yeah, there is. Look at that. There goes a lacrosse team. And. Um, and there's Don Bubbles over there. Yeah, he wants Mr. to be Bubbles. on the show so bad. He's gonna. I'm He'll not, be on in a little bit. The, the pre here's the pre thing before Don comes on is that there's no promises that I will be anywhere, and I've made no promises to anybody, and that's all I can say about that. Okay, so what he says is all thing he's gonna say it. Right. So introducing Mr. Don Black from Mr. Bubbles. You sit down and you got it. Where's your um, current coming? Okay. Well, well she Corinne. can sit next to you for sure. You're on the phone. Hi John's everybody. Room. How we doing today? Those you don't know me, my name is Don Black. I am the owner-operator of Joyful Bubbles, along with my beautiful crew that I have. And one of those crew members is here with me today. Her name is Corinne. Hi. Corinne. She and, this, and everybody knows Omar, so we don't even need to talk about that. It's Omar. So, what I wanted to bring up is that um, I do a music festival every year. It's one of the two music festivals I'll never miss. Um, in the year and it's uh, there's two of them one of them would be shoe fest which uh, I'm assuming a lot of you out there know shoe fest love shoe fest and I'll be there every year because I just love that place but the other one is called blue ox and it is a bluegrass music festival it's up in Eau Claire Wisconsin and I've been there I think four years uh, unfortunately the world blew up last year couldn't make it last year but they're back and it's in August 
and I've been in uh, talks. Uh, I mentioned that I want to bring in two people that I think would be monumental to the uh, event, and that would be John Griffin and Phil Strokes. So I'd like to announce today that they will be there in a capacity. Maybe they'll be there. Well, John's still on the fence, but we're going to make that happen, so don't worry about it. There's still logistics to be worked out. There's still details to be worked out. But come August, Blue Ox Music Festival, I would hope to see as many of you there as possible. And we're going to have Phil and hopefully John collaborating with Joyful Bubbles in a site that's going to be 100% beautiful. Grin, would you like to say anything today? Not really, no. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Phil. We'll see y'all there. What Don't do you miss think? it. I, I just I told told your crowd that, that Blue Ox is going to happen. Logistics, details still need to be worked out a little bit. How we're going to set up. It's going down. Be, it's going down. It's going down. It's going down. It's going down. Oh, we're there. We're, we're there. the crew. We're there. We ain't taking the train no more. We're doing air balloon. We are there. It is we're there. fantastic. Thank you, Donald. That's all I have to say today. Joyful Bubbles. Yeah, make Joyful Bubbles. bubbles. JoeBubbles.com. Check it out. I got I got a bunch of bubbles. bubbles you can buy. All kinds of good stuff. Corinne. She lives in, a, in a, a part of Ohio we will not disclose. She also does a lot of work for me on the website, all the social media pages and all that. I don't pay her nearly enough, but, you know, we're working on that. We'll figure it out. But, yeah, any of the festivals, they, they, we, we're trying to be, we're trying to hit everything you can. If you want us at your place, just let us know. Joybubbles.com. Joybubbles.com. And then there's joybubbles420 at gmail.com. It's our email address. Uh, you can message us on Facebook. Facebook. Instagram. And then my number is on the card. Uh, so if you ever, I'm not going to put it out here, but if my number is on, if you have a card, you can call me personally. I'll talk to you when talk about the Cubs, how bad they're doing. Hey, we show us this. fine. Oh, well, sorry. Sorry. All right, I'm out. I'm out. Thank you, guys. John's getting a little bit. He only gets a minute to talk about sports. Thank you, Thank you, Chris. Good afternoon. Thanks for thanks for hanging out with all of us. Blue Ox, uh, I want to get up there this year too. That's one I really wanted to get to. I wanted to share uh, this with you. This is called Kendama. And it's a Japanese skill toy. And uh, what it means is uh, sword ball. So this is the sword, this is the ball. And uh, you can just do cool stuff. Okay. And it's really meditative and fun, and uh, yeah, and I hope you guys all come out to Sugar Creek. We're hanging out at Sugar Creek this weekend, and uh, you should come on down. It's still a lot of time to come down, and there's a lot of cool things like this, and art, and just a lot of good, good people. So I hope everybody has a good weekend, and we hope to see you down here. Well, this is a variety show. We call it a variety show, because there's a variety of things that are gonna happen. Hello, everybody. Yeah, we can talk through the show. Does anybody Sorry, know? Hello. Does anybody know the name of the band right now? Isn't it? Um, I don't. I don't have a schedule. I thought it was going to be Bongo Pablo, but I don't think. I don't know if it is. It, I don't know. It could be. Let's Pablo, look at the schedule. Uh, thank you. Thank you, production assistant uh, Tom Harmon. Tom Harmon. Seven one two. Tommy Har Harmon. Tom Harmon. Seven one two. Harmon. Seven one two. Now wait. This phone just went black on me. Tom, you want to sit in my chair for a minute and talk? Oh, it's Cornfish. Is it Cornfish? Cornfish. Oh, okay. The name of the band is Cornfish, folks. Okay. Sounds kind of soulful. I dig it. Yeah, I think it's two kids because I, I researched it, yeah. Well, that was just a little example of what happens with these things. Our friend Don and Omar and Corinne from the Joyful Bubbles, you won't experience another cool thing at your event. I don't care if it's a wedding or a concert or a birthday party. They will blow a million bubbles, and that's not an exaggeration. Yeah, I mean, and it's... it's um. They're good people, they ring people, they're great for, he does a lot of not just music events, but parties and stuff like that. So, and here's another Joyful bonus bubbles. to it. So he blows those bubbles, the kids are playing the bubbles, they're basically washing their hands the whole time they're playing with I the mean, bubbles. Should we zoom this way and show the crowd? No, or, no, no. okay, yeah, we get no. jealous. No, not no. yet, no, I know. They can hear the music, we're not going to turn the camera the other direction tonight. Okay, hold on. And there's Put not on that many people clothes. here. There really aren't that many people, folks, and they are spread out. It's just we. Oh, it is completely spread out. I, I wouldn't um, play that. No. It's not our. It's not our event. We're 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 selling in our booths. We're hanging out back here in camp. Camp Phil and John Zone. Um, show number forty-nine, which I hope we have the prospector on, but I haven't seen him yet. Mike no. Was, um, 
this is Ziggy coming on or Omar uh, wanted didn't to rap. Really, didn't really, no I don't think he really no wanted hurry. to. He was, sit here and just um, he was worried about the music the playing and everything else and how he could play over the music. He couldn't play over the music. So if they like if the band goes on break and we're still talking, then maybe. I mean, what else have we got to do? We're all set up. We're done. There's we're nobody right next to the stage. Yeah, I know. still got a few things to do, but yeah. The new canopy's working out. It's very it's bright. So nice. It's I'm so looking, nice. Yeah. You're so used to that dark black canopy. Yeah, it's, it's very it, dark. This is so nice. And even mine is nowhere near as bright because mine's so dirty. Well, mine will eventually be that way. But when I set it up in the backyard, it just I'm going white. What? No. My, my, mine's a little bit older than the. I, I had a newer one, but I grabbed the older one because it's, it's got different walls. And now the walls are all falling apart. So. Did I want it white? Now after I think about it maybe I should no but it, I got white it's a beautiful thing and I'll get another one the back one is the old one no, this is awesome it is it's, everybody's chill um, it's so, been a long I still haven't set up my tent you still haven't set up your tent you better do that before dark I'm gonna make fun of you if you don't well it's an easy up tent <laughs> we slept out here last night we camped it well, I did Phil did and he stayed in a hotel or something he's all fancy cool. you baloney I got here and Tommy came by, and I, I, we left early this morning. Nice five-hour ride. Um, I wish I had got here because I don't like I like going to festivals the day before as a vendor. You get to do that; it's a great thing. But I didn't. But anyway, what? What did I say? Did I say something? Oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna watch that later. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Uh, we can't share today, folks. So if you feel like sharing our show, it's gonna be live music. You want to play cricket? He'll play for us. I know. What did he'll they make, say wrong? He'll oh, make cricket sounds, know. too. He makes cricket sounds. Cricket, man. Timothy Mullen is awesome. How many cricket? I know a couple crickets. I'm surprised how many people's names I can remember after this after this gap in time. And I'm surprised how young the people are. When did you get older, people. older? Some of the kids that are younger, they seem so young. We got jugglers, hula hoopers, dinosaurs, and a girl with a magic wand right in front of us. They got some magic wand. It's floating. Look at those balloons floating. The thing about this scene, folks, is there's a lot of acrobats and sideshow artists, we'll call them, or, or performers, jugglers, fire, yeah, fire spinners. which is fan right. It's um, great. Dang I've been to a lot I of... I call these people danglers, with the, dangle, the, the people that dangle from the that's things, they spin around. How, how, how tall do you think that is? That is really high. Like 50 foot tall. That's tall. High, well, maybe 30, because look at the basketball hoop. Oh, uh, look at the basketball. Tomorrow so, morning. So judge it by the basketball hoop. It's probably 30, maybe. Tommy Dean's juggling over there. Tommy Dean from Tommy's Abstract Art is getting a storefront. Oh, we just, spoiler alert. Oh. Spoiler alert, Tommy's getting a storefront. Is it 420 or we passed that? Oh, son of a bitch. Come on, use your good one. It's right there. It's 420. Come on, it's legal. Well, but we haven't done that together in so many so long. Well, then we shouldn't do that. Um, we shouldn't share, but we, no. Okay. What are you sniffing? It's a joint. It's not a sniffing thing. It's a medical marijuana it's glue, cigarette. Man. It's It's a recreational marijuana cigarette. It comes in a package and it comes out like this. It's Illinois. Sorry if your kids are watching, but they're, if they're watching, you just educate them. You know, don't don't punish them, educate them. I mean, if you're older, your kids, if they're over 16, they probably know more about that stuff than we do. Oh, but it's a fail roll. It is a fail roll. You got to re roll. The, the gum is somewhere else. The gum uh, is over here. Get a refund. A re gum. Corn fish is playing. No, I think it got wet. That's okay. I don't need to smoke anyway right now. All right, that's fine. Oh, maybe I do. Yeah, I think you do. We have like six more hours. We're going it's about 420. It probably is about 420. Oh, it's 420. It's close maybe. to when they were supposed to start at 4. I don't know. You know, I don't look at schedule. How often do you go to festival when you do these things? Do you really know the schedule? I never know. I know if there's a band that I really want to see. Like, I remember one time I went to a summer camp and Great American Taxi was playing. I know I had to see Great American Taxi. So I knew like 4.30 on Thursday I had to be at the certain stage. We go to a few festivals. At Hartford, there's always there's always a few bands you can't miss. Shoe Fest, we do a few, but we're... Well, Packy. Packy London's going to be on the show in a couple weeks, folks. Packy London, Adam Gruel. I can talk about future guests. On who show? Day. On our show. We have a show? Pa well, I, I'm actually recording all this and sharing it with the world. This is the first you're learning of it. Well, you got to, you know... Um, because it's live, and we've had hundreds of views. We had thousand views on Vince's show. Yeah, we did. Scramble, we would have had more views, but he couldn't get the video to yeah, work. Yeah, Scramble, I'm doing. Yeah, that was that was quite cool last week. And you stood. It was almost cooler to interview him without seeing him. Right. Than to see the artwork. Yeah. Uh, my my girlfriend Laura and Nancy are going to Red Rocks, and I'm going to get uh, Mr. Scramble Campbell a few pieces of vinyl phone banana art. Did you start working on it? Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah. yeah, I figured you'd get it. Oh that. yeah, I figured you'd get it. He got a big giggle and a laugh. 
And I already know. Should I? I can't say Plubbuck where he's at. Is that Red Rocks? Row many, okay, let me ask you this question: How many festivals have you been at where the opening band played a Bob Seger song? Can you ever ever hear a Bob Seger song at a festival? No. You know how many people are up there? Two. Up there. There's two guys. Two. Guys. No, there's got to be a drummer too. Here. Yeah. Well, at least when I researched it, there was two. Oh, there's got to be a drummer here. I think Comer's playing with him actually. Daniel okay. Comer. So there's not. I, Pretty good, pretty good. Here comes Tom Harmon again. Tom Harmon, folks, I'm going to give Tom Harmon props again because he's amazing. He, he records so much music and he shares it for free. Um, on on archive.org under Harmon712. And you have to check out Tom Harmon712. He's recording right now. He's recording. Uh, I see his mics. Yeah, he's recording this yeah. weekend. He's getting Bob Seger. I wonder how many Bob Seger tracks he's got. That's pretty tight. That's pretty yeah, damn tight. tight. It's very tight. And it's not something we hear from this crew, you know. Yeah. This dude's bringing a saxophone around. Pretty tight. And they're gonna bring him on the stage to do a sax solo. That's freaking awesome. Hey Tommy D, you wanna say hello? Hey, what booth are you in? Right oh. next to us. We had to save spots, people got me. Hey, come I on. Put say you hello. next door to us, Tom, but it was like uh, Yeah, Tom Dean, come in here. Our friend Tom Dean from Tommy's Abstract World is here as well. And he wants to show you a piece of his artwork and he might have some news for you if he feels like talking about it. Yes, I'm gonna have a storefront gallery in Chicago. Very excited. Maybe a month or two. Okay. So we're gonna be. My lighter. Uh, and uh, yeah, very Jam. excited. We're gonna be jamming. We're gonna be doing a large. You're gonna do, it's gonna be not. It's gonna be like a maker space plus a store. I think we're plus gonna have a, some other artists too. I mean, at least like, for yourself, I'm sure. At least well, I'll have a spot, and like we, it's all in the working. You know, we're honestly like we're it's good trying to, see to figure you, it out. You know? Yeah, Carter, I can't feel how incredible this is for me and a few of our friends to get together. Oh, the process goes this on. Is heaven on earth. As this process goes on and we get to, he's doing it, he's doing it. He, that dude walked up to the stage and said, can I do the saxophone solo? And he's got it, like tits, like, hey, you got my lighter, You guys Phil? are missing it, man. Phil, you got my lighter. That's not my lighter, but I'll take it. Oh, I want to light with that one, because it's still going? Oh. And, yes. Our current goal is to, like, I want to play music and have my art, not, uh, you know, like a psychedelic uh, thing, like uh, back in the, like for happening. the Grateful Dead, happening. like back in the, ha you want to encourage happenings, hap it's called Happening Gallery, no it's not, are you serious, did what you seriously just say that's what you're going to call no, it, no that's what it's called, before I just said it, it's no that's happening. what, no it's, that's, Cause what, that's what it reminded me of, it's a happening, you know what that's happening that's what it's is? called, Happening gallery. It's gonna be happening. This is what's going on right now is a happening. All of our life is a happening, but the, the little ones you, you seclude out into the pieces are so interesting. Oh, there's Sean Michael Rain. Yeah, see, you know, it's good to see a few people. And these artists, friends of mine, they've been, Tommy's been on the show a few times. A few times, I'm sure you probably might be on more than anybody else. No. I don't know. Uh, a couple of people have only been on twice. We've been, I might have been on there a lot. But the first few weeks, we, you, guys, you, you guys were our filler material. Thank right. you very much. We were yeah. there. Do you have any jokes today? Uh, I went down a one-way street and it was a dead end. A one-way dead end? That's kind of a joke on us, by the road people. That's a uh, right. <laughs> what's his name? No, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright? No, it's uh, what's his name? Wilbur and Orville Wright. That's his joke, not my joke. <laughs> I ripped it off. The Wright brothers said they invented an airplane, but you know they weren't the first ones to think of it. Yeah, we're, we're not sharing on screen. We're not sharing on screen, though. Oh, yeah, no sharing. sharing. No hugging, no sharing. We're discouraging that activity. No, no, no. We're hoping that those people put on something more than what they're wearing. Oh, so yeah, do you see my new mask? You got the mask for it? Go get them. Go get them. Yeah, get them. Hey, this is a variety show, man. We got to fill it up with something. Good. I, they, there's my piece band up there, Jam. That's, that's not tape. No, it's not tape, dude. It's a fucking band. It's I know. We're at a festival nowadays. It's not a live stream. He's going to do some sales you of his... You never know nowadays with music. And they're in bags. Too. They're so cool, man. How much are you asking for this? $10. We print them ourselves. I create Thank them. And, and me and Mindy. Hey. Got this one. Go sports. And they're really comfortable. Go sports. And they're really comfortable. Like, you don't mind wearing them. So, I guess I should say right now that we're probably going to get all this audio pinched because of this fucking right. Bob Seger song. 
We do not own the rights to Bob Seger or anything, but the band is killing it, man. They're killing it. So, I knew you'd like that, Phil. Maybe I'll trade you for something. Yeah, let's make a trade, man. I want one. I want one at least, no matter what. Yeah. You can get one. The hat I always wear is Tommy's R, guys. Tom Dean's R. He's even got his green hat on tonight. His is square, though. Mine's circular. The room. The room piece he does there, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all it's up. You guys are missing it, man. Wish y'all were here. She should come by. I don't know if it's sold out or not. No, I don't know if it's sold out. I don't, sold out. I don't think so. Look at it. Everybody's in their own spaces. Really, if you look at it right now, people are actually in their own spaces. Right. You know, it's spread out. Except for this guy, Tom Harmon, 712, archive.org. I'm telling you. It's the best thing since my tall tripod. I said Tom Harmon 712 is the best thing since my, my tall tripod. It's even better. All right, I got bring All right, sliced bread. We love you, brother. Right. Good to see you, Tom. I'll be around. We'll see you next time. We'll see you throughout the weekend. Oh, yeah. Everybody who's coming in here goes through a, a decon decontamination chamber where they rub their whole body down with sanitizer and they breathe through like albuterol uh, uh, burner. What do you got there? Nothing. Um, and I'll uh, show it. It's just Rocky Mountain Boys. Let's give a the half ten to the backwards Rocky Mountain Boys. Everything's backwards in the in the video. Okay. Um, no, just pull. I was looking for some. What was I looking for, John? Uh, something important. Oh, a cornfish shelf. I have a cornfish shelf. There. Yeah, this band is pretty. Uh, you guys buy it? What? No, I did not. Is it still put away? Oh uh, yes, I have a lot put away still. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt your your, your setting up for the show. I know our show has been such a... I should have put up a great new canopy. This is beautiful. So next weekend again. is our 50th show. Are you going to be home? It's going to suck weekend. to be home after this. This is gonna, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to suck to be home after this. But hey, Cody. I'm working on it. Hey, Rumpkin Mountain Boys. We're working on it. Woohoo! Um, next week, I don't know. I mean, st st stuff starting to open up. Uh, Great place, uh, Sidecar Supper Club in Batavia. Hey, there's Tracy Johnson. Who's coming hey, checking in here? Uh, no. Rachel Ammons. Rachel? Michael Kaufman. See you guys tomorrow. Well, heck yeah, Michael. Right on. Rachel from... Uh, Nick Rubio. Hey, Nick. I have a few of those painted records from my, from my band. She said. Yeah. Oh, Rachel? I think that's what it said. I, I can't read. It's really small. From Tea Chicken and Ben Miller. Horse Chicken. Tea chicken? Oh, that's a show now. You want to see a show, man. Tyrannosaurus chicken. Does it exist, though? No. He passed away. There's probably a recording by Tom Harmon, 712, archive.org. Yeah, Rachel. Is that Rachel? Yeah. But that was a good show. That was a late night. Was that Mackie stage? There's so many. Shoe fest. Look, the bass player's out there in the middle of the dance floor now with his radio bass. Wow. I didn't expect this. Yeah, I think that's Mark on bass. Yeah, I think that this guy has been working on these festivals for like seven years. He took a year off basically with the, with the last year. You know, I, I'm just saying if there's so much space, I don't think there's anybody. You got your group. You don't need a um, a little. Uh, no, you don't duct need to tape, draw a circle. But everybody's being they're being responsible. Space. And that's the way it should be. I wouldn't be here for one. I wish you could come all the way over here with that bass. He probably could. Uh, it's a long radio. Did they get him? No, he went up on stage. I would have got him. That's cool. He had a remote bass. He walked out into the, into the uh, not crowd. He walked out into the dance floor. There's no crowd. Hey, Tom, can you get me a course light out of the cooler? John, you need one? No. I got my, like, my tall hanging. Still 420 or is it 420? Yeah, 423. That's when you're holding the joint. You don't remember how long you've had it. The great thing about... Um, that guy just about dangled himself off, man. Some people out here have weird looking eyes, man. They're all dilated and weird and strange. I don't know what they're doing. But there's yeah. a lot of families out here this weekend, too. That, we shouldn't draw attention to those weirdos. There's only a few of those, but there's a lot of families out here. It's a family jam. It's a family camp out, basically. Are we, are we weirdos? Are we here? We're, 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 we're weirdos. weirdos, yeah. There's you know, a lot of dogs here. My mom always told me if you couldn't find the weird guy on the bus, well, <laughs> you're him. <laughs> Dave Faulkner. Hey, man. We're on the show, brother. Uh, Dave, come on, sit in. We're live on our show. Go ahead. Quick interview here with our buddy Dave. Uh, he's an artist here this weekend. He's the brand, the Unemployed Architect. Hello. Which we've been lucky to. I think we had you on our show once. Oh, we're, we're about to throw down an acoustic set of 
All originals. Acoustic? Yeah, it's good. Thank you. It's going to be something special. You got normally acoustic? Kind uh, of. We change. It depends on who we're trying to entertain. But Just the three of you tonight? Uh, me, Lo, and Tyler, yeah. Nice, nice, yeah. We're pretty, uh, pretty when excited When do you play? Here. We go on next. Awesome. I'm making my quick rounds. And now I gotta hop we don't want to get buggy, but we just it's good to see you, David. Love it was really good. Come to hang see out you again later. Can't wait to see you guys play. Yeah, enjoy. Hey, Scoop says it's a little loud, but but he's okay. He's adjusting. Scoop's cool. I'm getting used. Um, um, here, buddy. Um, yep. Great ride here. Hey, Scoop. So, there's Jimbo Faulkner, the other Jimbo. Faulkner brother, one of the other Faulkner brothers. They're triplets, aren't they triplets? Mm -hmm. Are they triplets? There's Pokemon. Oh, one of them. I know. Yeah. <laughs> We're live. I know. It's Fox with a dollar. Fox had a dollar to go get him some, a dollar or something. You can talk to somebody. Jimbo? Jimbo? Jimbo, yeah. yeah. I have to, do you remember his name? They could get really old. No, not when they walk up to me face to face when they're far away and somebody else says, hey, Jimbo. <laughs> I know when older people come and go, hey, John, where's Phil at? I'm Phil, that's true. But my whole thing with names is it's not important. But there was this one time where I met this guy, and his name was Tom, not Tom Dean, but another Tom. And I met him in the desert one night. Okay, and we were, we were he was buying beads off me, and I met him in the desert. Was, you were doing peyote. <laughs> There's no peyote involved. I stayed up all night, though, and worked for 48 hours in a row. But there was no peyote involved. <laughs> sure, you're But this guy, Tom, I met him one time. And then he walked into the store like six months later, and I said, Hey, Tom. And I remembered his name, and it made him feel good, you know? What's hey, up, Jimbo? What's up? What's happening, man? How you been? Good. Cool, you man. Doing? All right. Good. Well, We're live on the Phil and Sean zone, and uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's fun. been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Who could forget the Fa a Faulkner? You know, no way. <laughs> yeah. How you been, though? Good. good? Yeah. How can you get a Fox guy? No, you can't forget him. <laughs> that guy had a bright yellow shirt on. He was in jogging socks. He had a bright yellow shirt on. And he was jogging. <laughs> he was jogging. Shorts. He was McDonald's to the max. You remember, um, you've been here before, John. I've been here once before. But remember the lighting in the tree. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if they'll do that this year. I wonder. That was really that cool. Was... They made a whole forest into a projection screen. Correct. Yeah. We don't own the rights to any Stevie Ray Vaughan music. See, this is going to get our, our audio cut at some point. Well, let's see. Will, will they cut us off? Well, our video will be there. It depends. Well, if you add a little, like, a little tone to it... So they, they can't hear it? They, well, well there's, they like John they, said, we got cut know. off before because there's someone watching it and get copyright. So well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a robot. It's a, oh, there's Tom. You see Tom? Did you see that, Scoop? We saw you, Tom. He came around the corner and he got all excited. Yeah, you excited? Nice, Where's Chesterberry? Chesterberry's at home. Yeah, you get my finger? Yes, yeah. Chester's at home. You'll see Chester. We don't know about uh, we don't know about Scooby. Is he's a road dog. He's real. Woo! He's on the road. Let's go, Scooby. Let's he's go. A, um, you want to go? He was actually from the litter from Willie Nelson's Roadie. So he's he's been on the road for most of his life, at least this weekend. And he's going to be a traveling Look dog. This he's summer. got the Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh, uh, I mean, um, Stevie Joe Smith. <laughs> And he's playing sax. He just walked up there with a sax. He came out of his booth. He's a vendor over here. He came out of his booth and said, I got a sax. And now he's just tearing it up. This is going to, there's, the music here is all eclectic. It's not what we're used to, really. Like it just started, matching. John. Look at this. Right, we're right here. Look at that mess when she painted. Look at all that paint. I know. And so much, what, what is all that? Look, Look at the bubble. The bubble machine's failing, I think. <laughs> it's smoking. <laughs> oh, no. There it is. It's a smoke man. machine and a bubble machine. Guy wants to play hey with Cricket! Him. Hey Cricket! You want to? We're doing a TV show right now. Have you ever seen our show? Excellent. All right, that was our friend Cricket, folks. Okay. I got it. My yeah. name. Trying to get guests. Yeah. Some people are. Yeah. Yeah. People are shy. Some people don't really want to be on the show. They're really good musicians, but they really don't want to be on the show. Number seven. The mastermind. Is that Evan Best? Yep. Thank you, Evan. Concert. Thank you, Evan Butts. If you guys got any questions about any artwork, let us know. We're actually live on the air right now, but you're welcome to ask anything you like. Does anybody have a question for us? It would, it would make the show better. There's not that many people to ask, honestly. No. Only about four thousand. That guy had a hazmat suit on. He looked like the guy from Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. That's good. Look at your puppy. You lick. Oh, man. He's giving kisses, man. He loves his dad. I man. know. That's Chester Berry Jr. Shot? That is a cool shot, babe. 
I saw his last show at Alpine Valley. It's a cool shot, man. Helicopter. Is it a helicopter? Uh oh, we're cut off now. Yeah, you said Alpine Valley. It all, it all linked together. Mm -hmm. so my my favorite show of all time is uh, Allman Brothers at Alpine Valley with Hank Williams Jr. Um, three and a half hours set, I believe. I forget the year, eight, oh, early You're not ready for beer yet. Oh, no, 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 beer. Don't give no, me that puppy no, dog eyes. No, no. Give it to us. Most, almost all puppy dogs have puppy dog eyes. Look at you. You're looking right at me, are you? Yeah, what you want? Yeah, I'm a You guys don't know what's going on. You just tuned in. Some of your, so your grandma shared this. This is Phil, and I'm John. This is the Phil and John Zone, number 49. And we promised to have a true 49er here, but he's not around yet. What? You can bring it over here, show it, yeah. yeah. Look at John's posters he made. Sugar. Family Jam. Beautiful. He only made 100, so if you want one. You might be on there from future things. Uh, I'm on there. There's yeah, because I drew that from the future. Tommy D. Yeah, it's a beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you should. These are uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. John Griffin, great artwork. There you go. Thank you, Tommy. How you doing? This is uh, James Gardner. He's a glass blower from the... You, from James, you want to come in and talk about your... Hold on. Come on. Talk about your... This is a variety show tonight, folks. You're going to get a handful or mouthful. Hey guys. And they're all going through the booth of, of sanitation and they come on in here. So, You guys got to definitely stop out and check this festival out. It's an awesome lineup this weekend. You got something there that you made? I do. I actually got a handful of pipes this that I made art, in the last It's an artisan week. friendly show. Okay. So these are going to be some of the pipes that I've made recently. So super clean. John's doing some of my artwork pretty soon. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, we're already, some, yeah. we're already working on it, man. We're already working on it. Yeah, I'm super excited. Oh, thanks, James. I appreciate that, man. So, how's things been so far today? Now nah, he's doing Elton John. Doing some Elton John? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Little bite? Yep. Yeah. James, James actually blows glass in Bloomington, Illinois, or normal Illinois, actually. Yeah. You're in normal, in, aren't yeah. you? Normal smokers in. Yeah. As opposed to the abnormal one, which is down the street. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, yeah, thanks, man. Glad you're here, bud. Thank you Happy for having me. Happy show to Yeah. We'll see you soon. Yep. See you soon, bud. Fresh Scooby. What do you think? What do you think, Scoob? You like Elton John? That's a tough one to cover. I don't know if I'd be trying to cover Elton John without a piano. But that's cool that they're doing it. We'll have a musical interlude now, folks. Boy, if the audio survives on this video, it's going to be very, very tricky because they're doing a really good job of these songs. They're going to pinch our audio no matter what, I bet you, this weekend. They might have already done it. But we're going to do a couple episodes this weekend. We'll probably have two or three different shows this weekend because it's a uh, setting that we're in. It only allows us a, a certain amount of um, freedom. But we love that you guys are tuning in. And I don't know where Phil went. You go pee or something? All right, folks. This is the time of the show when Phil goes pee, man. I kind of just had a pizza. Okay. Uh, there's no back. Were you trying oh, to stay? No way! Not! Phil has got some friends. He's seen some friends. No luck. What do you say? He's got fireball? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, fireball. Uh, Great fireball. Mr. Don. That's what happens to fill these things. The fireball starts to happen. No, but you know, you, gotta, you know, I don't drink it out of. I, I pour it in my glass, and sometimes I don't. Do, I have my own liquor. I really don't. Yeah. So thank you for. I don't. I'm not trying to make an example out of you. Well, uh, you know, there, everybody. Everybody want yeah. So you guys want to talk about sports at all tonight? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Are we ready for sports? <laughs> <laughs> don't even go there yet. Are we in a hurry? No. <laughs> I'm not ready for sports. Look at the dogs. Yeah, they didn't used to let dogs in this. You had to get your dog in special last year. You had to pay 40 bucks to bring your dog. You have to be leashed. A lot of people brought their dogs. I've been yeah. a couple unleashed. Yeah. And mine's not leashed right now, but he's, got, he's, he's leash training this weekend. He's learning his leash. He's actually doing pretty good at it. If you're watching out there, look who just tuned in. Can you read that? No, I cannot. It says Amy Griffin. Hi, Amy. You want to say to Amy? Hi, Amy. I miss you. I'm taking care of your husband and your son and your puppy. And not right now. 
Oh, okay, hold on. I gotta go off screen for a second. <laughs> Your priorities, Phil, are a few. Um, yeah, the band right now playing is Corn Fish. Not playing fish songs. There's Patrick Griffin. Your mom's watching. Hey! You owe me 10 bucks. I owe you 10 bucks? Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. 10 bucks. Okay, um, does she need change? Uh, I already got the change. Okay, I'll give you 10. You remind me. You remind me. Uh, what do you think of that voice in Lohai? Do uh, you want to go see Phil? Do you want to go see Phil? Do you want to go see Phil? Come here. Come here. Come here. Go ahead, Scoop. I got you. Yeah, you bite my finger like Chester Berry, no? You smell Chester. This is beautiful, John. I didn't think it was going to be at this rockin' like 70s this review is show. This is cool, yeah. This is Thank you, Emily. I mean, uh, I don't know who got that painting. Uh, the hot for, for somebody special. That, that's like, she got that for a present for him, so I should be quiet. What's his name, Mr. Don? Don. Don. I yeah, can't yeah, his friend. Um, I didn't see his face. Yeah, he's a good, yeah, good soul. Good guy. He always knows the fireball. <laughs> always has fireball? <laughs> always has fireball. Cinnamon liquor guy, huh? Yeah. Fireball I love and, Big Red but, but yeah. gum. Remember Big Red gum? Yes, I do. I, mean, I used to love Big Red yeah, gum. That's right. what it is. And I'd only drink it by Tommy Armour and or when it's, and him. Seriously. Can you guys even hear us at all? Can you hear us? What Amy said? Hey, I said, oh, he, he did say you couldn't hold the dog. <laughs> They're very limited to who's getting to touch the dog, I promise. There's been, I don't promise, but there's oh, been it's some my very dog. limited. Look at this, bite my ear, it's my dog now. <laughs> uh, me and Patrick, and he, he I got it, Amy, it's all you. And he's, he's getting pretty good at his leash, though. He's actually using his leash, and he's, um. And I go, I'm going to go home, and Chester's going to go, what the hell, I smell another dog. <laughs> <laughs> I got him to move 25 feet with the leash, and I didn't even have to pull him All right, Patrick, anything. you ready to take? Yep, I can take right, Here's Thank that tan, buddy. Here's that tan. Okay. Can you hear us? Can, is anybody watching us? Right, oh, dude. those are angry faces, dude. Angry? Those are angry faces. Who's angry? Who thinks angry? The person who said you shouldn't hold the dog. Oh, Amy. No, nobody's. The dog is, has got his own little hiding place. He's actually in behind our camp. See, I don't know about all these bubbles floating. There's happy faces and there's hearts. Somebody throw a heart up there if you feel like it. I like hearts. I don't like angry faces. Uh, Amy. Whatever. You're just being. You're just jealous. Yeah, really. Yeah, you're jealous. Jealous. You're jealous. I miss her a lot. This is our first weekend. I miss Amy winter. too. I can't yeah. wait to summer solstice and before. Yeah. John already told me a three night bash. <laughs> Wasn't it? We're taking uh, over the cemetery, <laughs> man. <laughs> Not yet. That's like Not yet. Wait a few years to take over the cemetery. Right. That'll be the festival at the end, man. We don't want that one yet. Well, you never know. <laughs> well, let's hope this one. So that guy's got American flag pants on. Yeah. You see some interesting things with these things. The people try to out in interesting each other. <laughs> I think that's part. It's like a competition. Why don't we show the camera wrong? Not yet, no, right? No, I don't think we're doing no. that at all. <laughs> we shouldn't, actually. No. I don't think we're doing that at all. No, there'd be copyrights There's no involved. reason not to, and there's yeah, no, copyrights we're good. involved. We're the FCC just called and said, you're okay, almost cheers, fired. Josh. You're <laughs> almost fired. Who, I am? Almost. Almost? Almost. What are you going to call it? The and John's <laughs> The John's one doesn't have the same ring to it. You're pretty correct oh, there. Really? Yeah. No, I, I, it's Amy? been 49 weeks. No, listen, I thought about this. For 49 weeks, that means we're three weeks away from a year of doing this. Maybe. What? So in, in three weeks, we'll be at a year. Next week is our 50th show. No, we actually... We... I'm still waiting to hear back from Billy Strings Management. <laughs> they are interested still. Of course I they are. I need to send him a message they this know. week and say, the next I mean, week's our 50th show, if there's any way. No. Can we get Vince... Billy Strings and the actual live Scramble Camel in the same show. We've had Vince, we've had Adam. We, you know, it's quite amazing the musicians come out. Do you remember show. Adam couldn't play a song because he was freezing in a car? Right, right. With, with, um, uh, the, I, with, uh, yeah, he was with, uh, I forgot his name. No, we um, didn't forget his name. It's in there. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The famous uh, comedian artist uh, from Wisconsin. You did an album for I sent Adam. The, come on, you know. I did the artwork for it. I, I know, I know, I know. So, and I sent the albums. Come on, what is it? We're brain dead. Oh, man. This makes the whole weekend worth doing. Right, what was it? Um, come on, we got to get it. 
It's not Tuttle Pool and Gruel. No. That's his new, out, new, no. new project. No. No. It was Gruel and Barons. 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 Charlie Barons. Charlie Barons. Charlie Barons. Charlie Barons. Charlie Barons kills it in Wisconsin. Uh, comedian and. Uh, and Adam Grohl and I can't wait to see horseshoes and hand grenades. Adam and the boys from Wisconsin, great stuff. Hi, Amanda. And Manny you go to Blue Ox, you'll probably see him. Uh, you'll be there, too. If you go to Blue Ox, you'll probably see him. Uh, all right, Adam. Yeah? Okay. Um, you got Amanda Peel? Yeah, and Joe Peel behind us. Yeah, and people... He said he was going to wear a mustache and he shaved it. It's pretty good music, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty. Is, uh, um, I think we're getting some uh, mango. <laughs> anyway, we're live. No. <laughs> I like that. I like that music. <laughs> no, they play the later. guy Mark who plays bass. He's a sound. I speak of the devil. I speak of the devil, and he walks around the corner. There's Doc. 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 Hey, Doc. How are we doing? Good. You want to say hello? All right, you're in. It's Doc. Doc Stock Wellness Group, man. Our good friend Doc. Or as you might know him as Jason, but not too many people call him that. What? <laughs> so I gotta ask you a question because last time I saw it's been a long time since I seen you. Just a little but bit. But you yeah. had kind of like the Mike Pierce and Five O'clock Shadow last time I saw you. Yeah, for, uh, a little your, bit of time has gone by. Your beard grew very well. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a Rip Van Winkle moment, folks. Exactly. Yeah, I fell asleep for like a year. It looks great. Woke up it like looks this. great. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Who knows what's next? You know, maybe dread it up or something. You get your camp all set up and everything. Yeah, actually you, got a year. Are you doing a tent out here? Or tent? No, we're. Uh, uh, are you just here? Uh, your we're here as. Patrons and we're kind of so checking you're only out. here if like we need help. That and we're kind of checking out the place to see what we can do for them in the future. So the guy that runs the comfort zone is named Kayak. Mm -hmm. so if you haven't met him yet, have you met Kayak? Yeah, yet? he was actually from Camp Zoe with me. Yep, same, same, so, same, yep. same effect. You know, same, same. He makes me remind me of you whenever I talk, whenever I find out what he was doing, how he did it. You know, it's um, it's listening. basically taking care of folks out here that have had a good, that have um, had hobo voyages. Yeah. As Wavy Gravy called it, Hobo, Bo Hobo yeah. Voyages. Yeah, we, we both came from Mama Wanda and learned all our stuff from there. That was nice. The Schwags, you know, Camp Do you remember Marvin? He's out here. Did you see him? Not yet. No, I. Not Marvin um, Rudolph, but, but another Marvin, older Marvin that does that sell stuff at Marvin Yeah, He's out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, we were just about to do it a lap and some good people. Yeah, Check yeah, out some good people. people. Yeah, that's what I was noticing. Yeah. He sat down with us last night and we, we, we talked for a good hour just about everything we hadn't been doing. <laughs> you know, exactly. basically. So this is like a first opportunity for people to get together and do something like this. And it's good, you know. It's our therapy sessions. And we were back. Like they didn't do the circles, but everybody's kind of in their own chunks anyway. And that's how everybody kind of does with these things. They either stick with themselves or they stick with uh, their their crew. You know. Exactly. Yeah. It's my brother right here, man. I can't wait. Here for a year. Here you go. I'll trade with him. Good to see you, man. We're live on the air right now. I'll trade with you. You can say hi if you want to, but uh, to talk to you. Doc, back around. I'll, I'll talk to you in a little bit, Doc. Doc Stock. Thanks, really. Thanks for being around, Doc. It's good oh, to yeah. have you around, but good to know you're here. It makes you feel better about being at the festival, yeah. Good to see you. What's been going on, man? Recording, man. Recording? Yeah. Are you playing tonight? I wish. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Yeah, Tell them who you are. Hey, what's up, guys? Evan Sturgeon. My friend Evan right here, guys. If you know him, Sturgeon is a big fish you find in the, in the river, I guess the river. Yeah, it's a good dude, man. Caviar and everything, man. It's awesome. We're a variety show tonight. We're a variety show tonight. I mean, you're live on the screen. Yeah, this is, in the, this is going out to the world, folks. And some few people watching. We kind of keep it going. It's our 49th week of doing this since it all started. That's awesome. And um, it's been pretty fun, I think. What do you call it fun? I don't think they can hear us now, the band. He's like, he's getting it all. He's getting it. I think they can hear us, though. He's getting it. You have something to say? So what? Yeah, anything, to to say? anything to promote? Anything to promote? Yeah. Um, so my band Sturgeon Friends is in the process of recording a second album right now. Uh, we'll be dropping a single in a week or two, and we're playing at a couple festivals around here as well. And we're just super excited to get our message out there. It's a fun one. So what was the name of your band again? Sturgeon Friends. Say it uh, again loud. S T U R G and Friends. It's my last name, but not quite. <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. Well, good to see you, Evan. Good to see you, yeah, We'll hang out more this weekend for sure. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Much love, everyone. Peace, Do you think about sports at all when you were away? No. Not at all? Not at all. It's okay. I like I sports, so but, you know, I mean, I do my fantasy at home, but when I go away to, to a festival, and I've been to one for a long time, this is a festival. Festival is spending the night. Hey, I think some of these people are hippies, man. 
Oh, there's a lot of hippies here. I'm, you know, I've I mean, seen a couple deadheads, some I mean, burners. I call a couple tweakers. Yeah. I didn't see too many losers yet. I haven't seen any of those yet. Oh. I've seen a clown. I've seen Pokemon. I've seen a dragon. You, know you could be back. I'm a loser, baby. So, but like the loser, loser is actually a winner. That's like saying it's bad, but it's good. Remember when we said that's bad. It was good. It's, bad is good. Bad is good. Cool is kind of hot. The only thing I don't like about seeing it is you can see how many people are watching. And that, see, I'm not even looking. I'm and you don't want to look at that stuff so much. You know, we're watching the band, but the idea that it's a, it, you know, Laura's sister said I should never wear sunglasses. It's a bad show. That's money Thanks, for Tom. John. Thank you, bud. Hey, good job. Now get back out of the corner. <laughs> um, sorry, that's my friend Tom Armand. Armand712 and archive.org. 712, what is he, a robot? Yeah, Tom is a robot. I think he likes that beer, 712, or is that 312? Oh, it's 312. The way it was laid out on the keyboard. <laughs> you like the way the 7 What band's coming up now, John? This is Cornfish. Still? Yeah, and then we got Unemployed Architects after this. Oh, wow. I don't know how long the battery will last. It's not plugged in right now, folks. Um, hopefully it'll last for a little while. We really, I enjoy doing this show. I hope you do, too. We really enjoy you watching the show. I really um, don't. But I'm just doing it because you said You don't I enjoy them watching the show? No, because you said I have to do it. I, the contract's on the way. No, I mean, um, I, I'm kind of, uh, yeah, I get overwhelmed. I, I, it's, just, it's a great time. I, I think you, I don't know how to explain it. It's a beautiful thing we're doing. I, I can explain it. This is what life's about. Um, we do our thing. We're happy. Uh, make the people around us happy. That's the bottom line. Uh, we like music. We like art. If you don't like it, you're not watching the show. Um... I love everybody who's around us. If you're not, you're not in the zone. People are waving to us and smiling and uh, great music here. This is what we do. If you don't, you're not watching, but welcome to the Phil and John Zone. Yeah, that's what we do. Now we got some Doralee's Jazz. Are we live or still? Tommy Dean is in the band. He brought us tambourine this weekend, huh? We are live, and we are still live for a few more minutes. We'll stay live while these guys are playing. We can stay live all, well, maybe not. Um, we may do a late night show. We may not. Depends yeah, on we what, get, how what we happens. Get, we get to do a sound check before and uh, yeah. How do you Make do sure a sound we, check? Call well, somebody. Hey, we're going internet. live. Call somebody who's on the internet. And say, can you hear well, this? No, we'll have a cup of coffee and uh, we're going live. <laughs> I might have a cup of coffee. I'm so alive. <laughs> it's not funny. I mean, he's still young. <laughs> You know, a cup of coffee in, inside the drink. Oh, we're really out of practice. We're out of practice. You know, yeah, well, yeah uh, but the, yeah, come on. but a cup of coffee, it's just a uh, uh, natural. Patrick yeah. and I were in bed before 11 last night at the festival. We went to the bed before 11. Yeah, Tommy came by last night, and I had one little drink, and I was in bed by 8 and let her talk to him to talk to more, and I got up early. That's my MO. I used to have a place. Oh, yeah. Cool. Came up, yeah. What time did you guys leave? Um, six. Six. I packed up the car last night. Yeah, it was all good. You know that guy, Mike, right? Deuces. Gray hair dancing. There's a bear? <laughs> we can't turn it around. Never mind. No, the guy dancing right there in the green jacket. Mike. You know him? He always has a green mohawk and shoe pad. Yep. Yeah. I know Yep. But his mohawk is great today. There's, we can't, I don't think we sell the people because there's not that many people out there. Well, there's, I can tell, I know those people and those people and those people. Can we say that? Do you know them? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Josh Meds, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, OC, we miss you. They're right there. So, yeah, I think they would be okay. But, you know, we know a lot of people. Maybe some people don't want to be, uh, I don't know how people will react to what we do. I think it's an experiment every time we do it. And now we're together, we're hanging out. It's a, it's a different experiment. It's on a different level. I met that guy last year. We talked for a long time, but I can't remember his name. I met those guys last year, so I don't remember Remember when it gets late night? Everybody's right in front of our boat. It will be, probably. The, color, the bright colors bring them in. The bright colors are the melting paintings. <laughs> One guy, I'll never forget him. He thought that painting was melting, dude. He was trying to catch it. 
You get, you meet some interesting people in these, uh, what you call, it. it's Forrest Gump, dude. He's dressed as Forrest Gump. <laughs> 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 he's just jogging back and forth. <laughs> I heard the angel someone say that. That was Forrest Gump. I swear. Unbelievable. There's a guy named dressed like Forrest Gump running back and forth. We're people clowns. We either, either, we're either people are jealous of us or going, you guys are idiots. But I really don't care. No, there's but three viewers. This, this is Amy, a Laura, and Tom Harmon. <laughs> there's Mindy taking pictures. Mindy's probably watching. Hey, Mindy, you got phone. cereal? Yeah. Come on, you want to be on live? Come on, Mindy. No. Say hello. All right. No more guests. Come on, say hello. No more guests. We're cutting the guests off. All right, Mindy and Tom Dean. Yeah, no. She never comes on. Tom Dean and Mindy. Uh, there's Why Baker with her. Bring that dog to the festival. Why is he bring that dog? Yeah, we're live. Remember that. I told him that before. Loaded, what are you bringing your dog mm. for? Listen, my pup's here, man, so I can't really talk to him. Well, that dog. He's being really good. He's actually going on his leash, and he's going into his little tent we got for him. He's, he's behind the. He's not even in the booth. He's behind the booth over by, the, over by Patrick's tent. That was killer. Yeah, he just walked up with a saxophone and said, Can I play with you guys? And did a whole set of music with him. Well, I researched Cornfish, and uh, it was supposed to be two guys playing, and obviously they have friends, and that was killer. That was great. Who else we got ahead of now? We got Intrinsic Arts is out here. Intrinsic Arts is Keegan and the Fire Spinners. And then we've got Earth Biscuit Art, which is my friends down here who have this little cute little girl named Arwen. And they're, they're and they're, 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 that's just the cutest little girl, stuck two and a half years old or something. They walk back and forth in front of the booth all the time. There's a lot of people here I know from up by me, by Chicagoland. It's a beautiful thing. There are people here that we didn't come last year that oh, must have heard about it after last year. When you know, I mean, when a festival yeah. blossom or whenever, do two years, okay. whatever it was. I'm not saying it, but I didn't have to say it in public. When we talk about it, people are interested. We bring up people. Well, when if, you, they, if we didn't say stuff like this, when, you, when you do an event and it's a good time, people can't help but tell their friends what happened. Now we got Joe Walsh. Hey folks, the audio. Rocky Mountain Way. The audio for this is going to get no, it's so Joe hard. Walsh. Joe Walsh. Yeah. Walsh. Say the same name. It's, it's Don Hemley. And then if they played um, uh, uh, Tom Dean on the tambourine. Tom Dean on the tambourine. That's a line in a rap song. And there was Tom Dean on the tambourine. You know, the late show's not even on yet. What are we going to do today? I'm going to bed. I take a nap and come back. I get up. Drop rock. your wall. You don't even put your walls up yet. Are you even going to put your walls up? Have I ever really? No. It is we kind put of a chairs good... out there usually? But no one ever... Yeah, we're in a very trustworthy community. Um, but I will put, I got a new canopy with walls. You and I got to put cool the front wall up. Yeah, I will put just the front wall up. Just for air layer or something. Yeah. yeah. We have a little compound here, basically. We have a compound. We got, we got two, three 10 by 10s, plus I, our campsite. I got a grill. We cook vehicles. back there. It's a beautiful thing. I got hot chocolate. Hello. Hey, biscuit. What's happening, guys? Um... Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. I make a. What are we gonna have? A chili tonight or the hot dogs? And I got some organic stuff. I get a. Yeah. Oh. A, there, there are 30 vendors out here. At, what? There are 30 vendors. Times four. No, 30 only. Uh, there 30 vendors out here. A case of county. Yeah, 30 vendors only. But they have um. A, 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 there's so many different weird things. A lot of artists. A lot, there's a lot of painters out here. Yeah, a lot of painters. No, no, not us, but there's a lot of painters. Yeah, because um, there's a certain uh, limit that I got in last minute. Because you have to have a limit of uh, Well, you're vendors. kind of on my ticket. You're in the car. I, I have to do a show and my, my contract, you know, all that stuff. They bought coconuts, and they're like, why do we buy these coconuts? But it's our friend Jake. Good and get much higher. Wrong verse. <laughs> Much higher. I probably could actually much, but we're not going. To. Oh yeah, I'm not even high. I, I mean, I'm just relaxing. I did sit in the chair. These are flower children. Oh, there is. Oh uh, yes. Yeah. And those are flower children. <laughs> yep. Whose kids are those? Get your, get your kids. Guy, the bear hat. <laughs> That's the bear. His name's Bear. We call him Bear. I made him last year. Go ahead, say it. Oh. Yeah. Life's been good so far. This is Rocky Mountain Wave. I like that. I like all. I like a lot. Well, I like a lot of things. 
Yeah, Joe Walsh, I'm a big Eagles fan, and they're underrated if you really look at the category of that. Joe Walsh played with the Eagles. I like documentaries. I like my music. I like facts of music. And it's amazing. And it's amazing And early bands that played big stuff that the band was never, it was a studio band who played for the singer. There wasn't always the band that was live. Right. Was Not at all. They were usually yeah. different musicians that got put together Correct. for touring. Correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, think about all the stuff on Stax Records, on Motown Records, on uh, Muscle Shoals. All that stuff was the band. The band was almost always the same dudes that could put up. What's up, Scott? What's going on, dude? Scott, you want to say hello? Come on, Scott. You're in. Sit down. This is Mr. Scotto. This is Mr. Mr. Scotto. He's a he's a he's a liaison officer for the Hi <laughs> y'all. Nice nice to be put out on the Phil and John. Another so. friend we're just super happy to see, man. Thanks super to happy see to see you. Thank you yeah, to see you. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. You guys got it running good. It's yeah. doing a good job. We do pretty we have a good time. We're doing our best. We're being as, as, as comfortable and careful as we can. And the music this gets this band is ridiculous. They are sounding very nice. Like behind the you guy with the saxophone it? just walked up to the stage and said, "Can I play?" I heard him. And he very did like pretty well. much two thirds of the set. I heard him very yeah. well. <laughs> Who would have known it that from farther back? And, he he heard, and, and, and here's another thing: How many shows are we at where we hear a Bob Seger song as the opening number of the festival? That was uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> <Right>. Pretty different too. <laughs> it doesn't you know? happen. It's not a normal sure. thing for our our, our our crew. You know, it's not. The wide you know, they did it was nice too. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's damn. So they're eclectic. Well. They're very. They really are. They are so very much so. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me. Hey, brother. I hope some of y'all know who I am. Mr. Scotto, right over here. <laughs> Love you, kid. Folks, we're doing the best we can in this world. Are you bringing more people to the show? I'm going to get off the show if you keep bringing guests over here. Well, you can leave it all. Uh, you know. Oh! Do we start giving you guests? No. It's probably we're, closing on 5 o'clock, folks. It's only 5? No, that says live. 1. Only one viewer? <laughs> Is that, what does it mean? It's okay, it doesn't matter. That's not why we do it. We do it so we can hang out. Low battery. Oh, the battery is dying. So we only have one viewer? We're almost done. No one's watching us? They're done, they're done with it. They might be done with the, the fact that um, they're just over our jokes, jealousy, things like that, you know. No, I'll probably get hate mail. more than one, then I quit. I stopped the show. No. It's eclectic to do that, to, 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 to quit just like that. That's eclectic. Let's leave it live. No, we can't leave it live. The battery's gonna die in about five minutes. Like, we'll recharge it. it. Recharge. Hey, Pop pools. Where's Where's Boy Baby's water dish? Uh, it's right here by Phil. Okay. Nope. 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 Watch out for those See, precious bye. record cases. Thanks, those Patrick. Are, like your bag. Stay at that bag, Patrick. <laughs> no, leave it live. I don't bag. care. I don't care who's watching. You should a little bit. Just like, just, just a skosh. A skosh? What are you, are you <laughs> Polish? Do you want to go to your... That's like a measurement my grandma used. It's a real measurement, you know. It's a real measurement. What is a measurement? This is Bear. Like, good, how are you, Bear? What's going on, Hey, Bear, man? you're in the chair. Go ahead, you're live. Do you want to be on TV? You're not in the witness protection program, are you? We're live on TV? No, we're live on Facebook right now. We're going to introduce our friend, the Bear, and let him tell us a little bit about himself. And you'll see why we call him Bear here in a second. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I, uh, I'm only... I'm a Bear man. Not uh, just a Bear. It's uh, you know a weird unholy union that we don't really get to talk about much, but I, you know, um, yeah, I don't know. Bear man, all thing. over. Yeah, yeah. So this is our show. We're in our 49th week. Nice. I'm interviewing a bear tonight, and um, they say don't feed the bears, but I, I brought tonight. I brought some grapes. You got snacks? No, I don't have any grapes. I'm teasing the bear. That's even worse. Yeah, don't <laughs> anger the bear. It's one thing when you feed them, but when you like take it and you pull it away. Oh yeah, you're asking for it. You know, hopefully you're not around the woods because you're gonna eat a get, payday bar out in you know. Colorado somewhere or something. Yeah, they're coming from miles. The bear wants that payday bar. I had one rip out of my back window for a tube of toothpaste one time. Really? Yeah. It do. They all tear a car apart for it. Yeah. Anything yeah. edible, really, yeah. Because it yeah. smelled like mint or something. Yeah. It had like a, a spearmint feeling to it. That's yeah, different. I mean, you know, bear's teeth aren't in very good shape usually anyway. So, yeah. like, they were just probably under... Because all that honey they eat. Yeah. You never see a bear with a toothbrush. I've never... Sugar, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've never seen a bear with a toothbrush. Diet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they might eat a toothbrush. Yeah, well, I'm sure if it has but, toothpaste on it before, or some human stuff. Yeah, right. Granola or whatever they were brushing out of their teeth. But they put honey on it, so it's really not that. They put honey on their toothbrushes. Yeah, it's not that good for their teeth. You know, it's like I don't this, think Winnie the Pooh has any teeth. 
I hope not. I've never seen him smile, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, he's always, he's always just, I mean, he's got Igor, like, depressing him all day. It's really Tigger's sad. too dang happy. That drives you nuts. Yeah, you don't smile at that. You don't want to set him off. Piglet's always a little worried guy, you know. Al's always telling him what she knows. And Rabbit's the same way. Actually, Rabbit and Al are kind of the same. Yeah, they're, they're punks. Kanga's kind of nice. I and, love Winnie you know, the Pooh. Do you know Winnie the Pooh personally? He's my cousin. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. I was wondering if maybe you guys were related or had some relation time. Yeah, in the past, he, so. you know, I, the Seven Acres Woods is like, it's hard to get to, you know. Like, I just stop it. I just, I just, I just go hang out with Goldilocks on the way, and then we get too drunk on that, you know, porridge wine. She makes this weird porridge wine. You never porridge wine. had anything that good. Nothing it's like cool. some fermented oats. Yeah, yeah. It's, it turns out it's just right. You know, that's what she calls it. Just right. I don't know. It's a little strong, but run. Good. There goes Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump by. is here. It's pretty amazing. That yeah. boy sure is a running fool. Yeah. Yeah, he is. That's one of my favorite quotes of any movie ever. That boy sure is a running fool. That boy sure, that boy is, sure is a running, is a running fool. fool. There it is. I got it. Yeah. It's bestie throat. Dust. <laughs> Even it's with the mask, I've still got festive blue. Getting better and better. <laughs> right. Now, folks, we're doing our best out here. We appreciate you, Barry, for being here. It's good to see you. Man. Yeah, man. It's yeah, good to see you, John. We're gonna more time talking, hanging out, man. This yeah. guy, if you haven't bought his artwork, you know, you're dumb. Just come get some. <laughs> you're I, dumb. Come get some. Somebody, I try to read. I can't read that little tiny yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's Dustin. Hi, Dustin. Dustin Figer. Yeah, Dustin. What's up, buddy? Elderbeard Music Works, but hey, yeah. there, folks and animals. Yes, That's right. I, so, this is like our first Jack Hanna moment other than the dogs. So you're like our first animal on the animal guest on our half animal guest on the show. Excellent, yeah. It, well no, we've had a bunch of squirrels and cardinals. Never mind, birds, never mind. You're you're not way down the list, sorry. Yeah, but I'm like way up the food chain. <laughs> so like I know you what know, you guys do with squirrels, so I'm not, you know, yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> you wing them around like this real fast. And then you just see him go nuts. I think the first dirty joke my dad told me was about a bear and a squirrel. Yeah? I, I heard it with a rabbit. They, or, they're more comfortable. Or a rabbit, a little softer fur. And squirrel might be a little bit rough. Squirrel, dude, they can bite through a nut. So you don't want that right <laughs> next to your things. You know what I mean? A rabbit's a little more safe. Um, a little less, you know, a little more resistant to, you know, you know the joke. Yeah. I, you know, you know, we can't tell here, it's copyrighted. Right, yes. <laughs> I don't think any jokes written, 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 written by Buddy Hackett. I don't think like, any jokes written by Buddy Hackett are illegal anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, it's public record, probably. <laughs> probably. Public record. Well, the, the probably. content is questionable and everything. The content, how, yes, however. That one's shit humor, so maybe it's okay, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you gotta tell it in the woods. Is that still safe? Is that still safe? I don't know. Right? Unemployed architects coming up? Unemployed architects are next. Yeah, yeah. people are bringing their chairs up there. We got a cornfish set there. Yeah. We got cornfish yeah, sure. in, and then, and, and yeah. I'm gonna eat some dinner after the show, folks. Bear, I'm gonna have a sandwich. My, my chair, man. All right, we'll have to sign up pretty soon. But Bear, thanks for coming on, Bear, man. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah, thank you. It's real good to see you again, friend. Yeah. Hey, goodbye, everybody. So, Phil, number 49. 49 minutes at least so far. Dustin Feiger checked in. Who did? Um, Dustin Feiger. Hey, Dustin. Elderberry Music Works. How you doing? Yeah, this is Sugar Creek, folks. This is what we do down here in Benton, Illinois. It's about 20 minutes outside of Carbondale. We're near the, we're near the southern Illinois area, the Shawnee Forest area. It's kind of beautiful. There's some trees. We're not in it, really, but we're on the edge no, of it. No, it's really beautiful. I'm, um, this place offers kayaking, canoeing, uh, swimming, if you really want to get in the dirty pond. Uh, no, camping, uh, and camp for kids. Kids, kids camp too. This is a 4 H site. I, I see, the, I see uh, gold. Uh, Mr. Um, gold Miner. Is he coming? He's right by the basketball court because I love playing. He's right there. He, he's going to take him? him an hour to get over here. You see him? He's going to take him an hour to get over here. Do, well, it's a 49er. Do, we, do we, we have a 49er. Well, we can leave it on for and a little bit. It's going to die in a few minutes. What do you mean it's going to die? The battery is going to die. Why do we charge it? Because the charger's right here and there's no plug handy. You have to move the camera. I don't want to. I don't want to disturb that that surface. So what are you trying to say? The show's gonna end. I no, it's not gonna end yet. But it, what's gonna happen is that if they go on between sets and they play background music, that okay. I'm gonna because it's the Phil and John zone. We're gonna take a break in uh, 15 minutes. We're gonna charge the battery. What about this? What if we took a walk? 
Okay. And we point the camera at the ground while we're walking over the sky. Okay. And we walk over to Patron and see if we can get his attention that way. Sounds good to me. Okay. However, we're gonna take a little walk, folks. Okay. Don't mind us. I'll be right back. What's that? I'll, I'll be right back, okay? You okay? Hi, nice Scoob. We're just doing audio interviews right now. Crazy How are you, brother? Stuff. Good to see you. What's going on, man? Very good, very good. Well, this is our, this is our feet. I see him. Yeah, we're live. We're walking around. We got to catch him with our touch. Show the view. You don't want to? No. No. <laughs> it's too nice that you're all getting... That's why I know it. Yeah. We're going to go... There he comes. He's coming right at us. Where's he at? Okay. Oh, let's catch him over there. That'd be perfect. Yeah. Go right there. By, well, you go by Mr. Bubbles. No, let's get him right there. <laughs> yeah. Go by Mr. Bubbles. No, let's just get him right over here. I got him. I got him. We're going to go to Mr. Bubbles and move into it. We're going to, we're, 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 we're stalking a Colm, a, a minor, 49er, because we're the 49 show. We're... Hey, so, uh, what's, what's your name there, partner? I'm the prospector, the gold prospector. I find gold in all these parts. Laid my claim just over yonder. <laughs> How you doing today? Oh, wonderful. Wait to see you. This is, this is our 49th show. So in, in, in the minor 49er, I just thought we we had to see you. We had to see you, Mike. So it's good to see you. It's really good to see you, bud. Um, You'll see me tonight. The lantern of the minor 49er. That's like a haunted lantern. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, folks, we're, we're live. We're live. We're showing our feet. Um, Phil, you want to say anything else before we go? Yeah, we're going to let it go for a little bit because we're walking around and observing. Um, miss you all. Um, happy uh, weekend. Uh, miss you, Chester. Miss you, Laura. Miss you, Amy. Miss Thank you, everybody. Part of the show. I miss Can't all my friends. Um, it's all good. Love I'm going to go wash my hands. <laughs>